Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you what is the better way of writing the same code. Now this code looks perfectly fine when you are working with very small code. Okay, so as of now, this looks perfectly okay. It is neat and clean, but uh, trust me, it is going to get very ugly if you need to write the complete code and you need to write maybe probably uh, hundreds of lines of code. So what we need to do is rather than using this, what we are going to do is we are going to arrange it in a better way. So going forward, we are going to follow that example. So if you want to add more cells in this, you can just click on plus code and what is going to happen is now you can see there is a new cell which has come. So first of all, I'm just going to copy paste everything and then we are going to make changes here. So now you can see in our API, we have two parts. We have a part which is going to be always static. So here you can see until here it is always static. Uh, this is the API and then we have some parameter data which we are going to pass to this API. Okay. So rather than uh, using this, what we can do is we are going to break it and we are going to call it a base URL so base url is going to be the url which is not going to change so for example in this case what uh, we are going to do is until here we are i'm going to cut it and i'm going to paste it here again we need to make sure whatever the string we enter we need to enter in double quotes so it is going to be base url and now uh, in order to pass all the parameters i'm going to use uh, parameters and I'm going to say parameters is equal to and then we need to use dictionary. So if you know about Python dictionary, very good. If you don't know, you don't need to bother. Just you need to make sure you use curly braces and then you need to set whatever the data you want to pass. So for example, as we saw in this telegram uh, get updates, we want to pass this parameter, which is offset. So we need to write offset here again. It needs to be in double quotes and then we need to use colon and then we need to uh, write the data which we want to write. So for example, in this case, again, I need to use double quotes and then we wanted to pass this offset ID. So I'm going to cut it and going to paste it here. So now this uh, piece of line, these two piece of line is exactly the same as writing this line. Okay. Even though we have increased the number of lines, but this data is going to be more cleaner. And especially when our code is going to increase, you will be noticing that this is going to give you more visibility and going to make your code a clearer. You'll be able to understand your code better. And then eventually it is going to help you when you want to troubleshoot the code or you want to fix the code when you face any issues. Now, once we uh, make a uh, syntax like this, we need to make some changes here. So now what we need to do is uh, in request.get, I need to call base URL. So remember base URL is exactly this URL. And then we are saying we are passing the data which is here in this parameter. So I'm saying data is equal to parameters. And that's it. And then print is going to be exactly the same. Now I'm going to execute it. And this should give us exactly the same data which we saw here. Okay, so you can see both in both the scenarios, we have got exactly the same data. Now I'm going to show you one more parameter which we can pass to get updates. So here you can see in get updates, we have limit. So what limits does it, it tells you how many messages you want to read. So for example, in this case, you can see we are able to read three messages. But what if we just want to read only one message? Okay, so in that case, we can use limit. So for example, in this case, I'm just going to write comma, then I'm going to write limit. And then again, we need to use colon, then we need to write number of uh, messages which we want to read. So I'm going to say one, and then I'm going to run this code again. And now you'll be noticing we are going to read only one message. Okay, so uh, now what botfather does is or this API does it is knows that we want to read the data. Okay. And we want to read the data where offset ID is equal to or more than this. Then it says, okay, limit is equal to one. So which means I can only send one raw one record of data. Now, if I change this limit to two, for example, in that case, we are going to see two pieces of data. So here I'm going to execute it. Now you can see we have received two messages. And if I change it to three, we can see we are going to uh, see three messages. Okay, now limit may not make uh, more sense right now because we are having only three messages. Now, what if you are part of the groups where you see thousands of messages, okay? And at any point of time, you want your program to handle only 100 messages or in increment of 100 messages, you want your program to read all the messages. So you don't want to read 1000 messages in one shot because probably your code will not be able to handle those functionality or the processing. So you can limit the number of messages which you want to read. Now, if the same thing which you had to do here, what you can do is you can again uh, use ampersand. So if you want to uh, pass multiple parameters here, you need to separate one parameter to another by using ampersand. So here we are using ampersand sign, then I'm saying limit 
and here I'm saying equal to let's make it one and then we are going to run this code okay now you see everything is uh, you know this code uh, probably right now also it might be looking better to you because again we are working on small code now just imagine if I had to pass hundreds of parameters or probably 20 of parameters or even five parameters this string is gonna look very longer okay longer and longer and then if you want to troubleshoot anything it's gonna give you uh, lots and lots of problem and again in our upcoming session this code structure is going to make lot more sense so from uh, now onwards we are just going to use this structure whenever we are going to call an api so that's it in this lesson see you again in the next lesson